All right, guys, I'm in the shop. And I know, you clicked on it and you're like, wait, this is supposed to be Tack Pack. I promise, it's Tack Pack. But here's the deal, I was thinking about it and I decided that from now on, I'm gonna be doing Tack Pack unboxings here in the shop for the most part because how many times have I, I opened this up and I've looked at something and I've said, man, if you know, in the shop we have, or Darren might say, or I'd like to ask Darren or whatever. Um, so you know what? We're gonna stop all that if only. And since Tack Pack being a very, like I like to remind you guys, a very shooter centric monthly subscription, um, we're gonna start doing the unboxings right here in the shop so that I have access to all of the stuff that we might compare to. I have people smarter than me on a lot of this stuff uh, that I can refer to. And I understand the lighting and the sound quality might not be as good as some of the other stuff, but I think it's gonna make up for it in terms of how we can focus the content and everything. So let me know if you like it here with these available things, um, or if you don't, if you prefer I just do it in the little home studio with the better lighting and the better sound or, or what you think. But uh, I am equipped with my Wawa Red Bull infusion. So plenty of energy to go around and let's get started. All right, so as always, I gotta start off by thanking Kevin. Kevin is the purveyor of the Tac Pack for us. That sounds wrong, he doesn't like, he doesn't run Tac Pack, but he's the customer that actually pays for the Tac Pack, has it sent, and then a good time is had by all, and then every so often me and Kevin meet up and talk some smack about stuff, and uh, women folk talk about their women folk stuff, and, um, and then I like to do nice things for Kevin, like I'm working on some stuff for him in the shop right now to say thanks. So anyway, this is Tack Pack, the Tack Pack Plus box for September 2022. And I'm going to take everything out as we, is this what I think it is? I am part of a Facebook group where I was until I got hacked and now they won't let me back in because my profile is not old enough to get back in, but there's an EDC Facebook group and the the guy who runs that group, if you, you post one of these, it's the quickest way to get kicked out of that group, if it's what I think it is. Um, a shirt. Our tactical sticker of the month, Poo. I wonder what they're actually calling it, um, but tactical poo. Poo bear. What's this? Is this a sticker? Maybe it's a sticker. Um, and finally, what the fuck is that? Our card. And we've got something big in it. You know what this actually looks like, guys? I, I, I'm not, what is it? This is a master grade build tool. This looks like the rescue axe inside a combat aircraft, like that you would use to punch your way through aluminum skin if you are crashed somewhere. That's what it looks like, that's what it feels like too, but I, I we'll see, we'll see what it is. I'm sure that's not what it is. I'm sure it's not, or very similar also to the tool you use to destroy cryptographic equipment so the enemy can't get their hands on it if you're gonna be overrun or again, you are down behind any lines, whatever. So Tac Pack Plus, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven items and they include the sticker. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven items. Okay, good, everything's here. Um, let's start with, I guess this guy, the Bone Dry Rust Prevention Guns and Ammo Bag. It wicks moisture, makes cleaning easier, fits both long and short muzzle length and all calibers up to 45. Okay. Does not feel like what I thought it was gonna feel like. I could have been a DJ. Um, let's see. Definitely does not feel like what I thought it was gonna be. So it is, we've gotten, I forgot who sent us a bag like this before, but it's basically like a giant do not eat, you know, moisture absorber, but in bag form. And we got one that was like a zippered up case. I think I gave it to Dave, now that I think about it. Um, or I gave it away in a give, I can't remember. Um, but the bone dry, so what it, it has instructions here. And cool. Yeah, we see a lot of stuff come through the shop that has been improperly stored and 
it is now honestly like pitted and rusted and people want to know like can you Cerakote the pits out of this and no no we can't do that we can make it look nicer we can help you refurbish it but if you don't take care of your shit and you let it get to a point where it is the rust is so um i can't think of the word but heavy the corrosion is so heavy that it is now eating pits into the metal we we can't really fix that yes some people say well you could bondo that and all that but that that's that's a superficial fix that does nothing for the integrity of the metal anyway that's besides the point let me get something see doing it at the shop it gives me the opportunity to have all sorts of stuff to actually test this way so 1911 which is considered a large frame semi-automatic it fits nicely in there um, it doesn't seal completely but i don't think you need it to considering what's in there um, and there's not much room maybe you could fit a magazine or two in there with it but there's not much room for anything else in there i mean i could probably fit the spidey rat top of it could i yeah you know in there with it and still have room for a magazine comfortably without things rubbing against each other you don't want them to rub against each other either because if there's a protective finish or coating that could scratch that up um but there you go is there a value on this there is not a value on this but you know what um it works so um there you go now i see the next item on this list is the battle arms mag release uh, this is a magazine release for an AR platform. Let me get a standard AR mag release over here so we can compare. So with a standard magazine release, you've got, basically you've got this same bar here. See the threads? So when you're assembling, you have to kind of over, you, you, there's a tool to use. This button screws onto that and there's this spring that goes in the middle of it, and you have to screw that on until it's about flush right there with the post. This is very light, this weighs nothing. I'll tell you that right there. Um, they say this saves weight, and I believe it. This, you also don't have to kind of measure. Uh, some people are very specific about getting that button exactly flush with that post. This only goes so far and you don't have to worry about it. Actually, I do like the texture on that. I will also tell you, in all my years using uh, an M16A2 initially, and then uh, an M4 platform, and my own AR, I've never, had, I've never like had my fingers slip off one of these when trying to use it, but this is excellent texturing. Very well catches your finger. Comparing the spring to a standard, I don't know if they improved the spring. Um, it doesn't really say, but and then, you know, even here is milled out, I guess, make it a little bit lighter. It, does this really, you know, somebody's gonna ask, does this really save weight on your build? Well, we used to have a little saying that, you know, pounds or ounces and every ounce, you, every ounce you save somewhere, it's an ounce less you gotta carry and the ounces, you know, ounces or pounds. Uh, there we go. So, I don't know, it's interesting. They're always, you know, useful if again useful if you're building platforms if you're not i don't know trade bait but i'd like to know how it actually goes kevin i know is going to use this to actually build so that's cool ounces or pounds i don't know i haven't fully enjoyed all of my red bull yet i don't know why i said pounds or ounces that's really stupid so now we get to the empire shank sharpie i love how they say this customers are responsible for knowing their state and federal regulations regarding this product because yes this thing, where'd it go, is technically illegal in some states because of it, what it ends up classifying itself as. It does look exactly like a Sharpie. I wonder what the Sharpie Corporation thinks of this, if they're even aware. Um, so from what I understand, they actually take a real life Sharpie and they take it out, hollow it out, get rid of the ink, they, they hand tool this, or not hand tool this, but they custom tool this. And if this was colored black, it would look exactly like a fine point Sharpie, but this is in fact, a poker outer that's what we're calling it a poker outer um, and this is solid core so this goes all the way through now i'm sure you could do if you know what you're doing pressure points and related some significant damage and you could probably hurt somebody with this thing i i you know states that want to refer to this as a deadly weapon i think is a little stupid i'm sure that if somebody's up in your face and you don't want them to be you could get them out of your face real quick with this you could definitely you know you'll poke their eye out 
Um, but I think it's kind of ridiculous that this is in the same category in some states, honestly, as like, you know, daggers and dirks and stuff like that. You could probably use it as a scribing tool as well. What is it actually made of? Does it say? I don't know. <coughs> Doesn't say, I, I, I'm assuming steel. Personally, it's not something I would, I would carry around. It's not something I would use. It's more novelty to me than anything else. Um, but I mean, you know, you don't have to poke very hard with this thing. Um, and I think that bare human flesh is, is a little bit softer than cardboard, even when it comes to the pokey pokes. So it would uh, absolutely um, give somebody something to think about if they were in your personal bubble and you wanted them out of it. Um, just, it's not my thing, not my style. So, and again, one day Sharpie is gonna catch on to what they're doing. And uh, you know what I need to do? I need to, act, you know, act, oh. Actually, so this is um, you know a little bit different marking because it's the, the twin size. I forgot I had this in my pocket. I always have it in my pocket. Um, exact same um, font and everything now. Hmm. Well, yeah, we'll see. There are people who love these things. I think they come in different colors too. I think it's not just black. I think you can get, get it so it represents different colors. I don't know off the top of my head though. I shouldn't even say it. The Jams tea. They send out some t-shirts that I, you know, once again, me personally, I wouldn't wear them around. I mean, I might wear them like for doing work on stuff, but they're not the kind of things that I think are, are incredibly humorous. They're a little funny. Jams, everyone's greatest fear. And you're just hoping that, you know, people see this and see their bullets instead of teeth. Do you see the bullets? And, okay, I'm having to explain the joke. If I have to explain the joke, it's not a very good joke. You got, it, it's a thinker for a minute because you got to look. It's, it's a shark, right? But it's, it's bullets. Jams, everyone's greatest fear. Um, that is not my greatest fear. My greatest fear is the government slowly but surely week after week whittling down the Second Amendment um, to restrict what you can put these teeth into. That's my greatest fear, personally. Anyway, t-shirt, I'm sure people love it. Winnie the Pew, oh, I love it, Winnie the Pew. Look, look, Winnie the Pew. That, that is the best sticker name they've ever done so far. And typically, Kevin lets me keep these for the mat. I'm making a bigger mat because we have more stickers, we need more room. It's Winnie the Pew. Love it. Love it. Personally, I always think stickers should be a free item in every box, but there you go. Now, we've got two items in the plus. So this has all been everybody that, that gets the basic tack pack every month has gotten this stuff so far. Now we're in the plus. So when Kevin and other people pay for the plus box, the extra money, this is what they are getting. So for $79.99, we've got the Real Avid Armorer's Master Wrench. This is the thing that to me looks like the emergency escape tool slash crypto destruction tool. Um, it's heavy, guys. It's, it's got weight to it. So I'm trying, I'm trying to gingerly open it out of the package so as not to scratch anything up before I get it back to Kevin because that would make me a dick. And there are already so many reasons why I am a dick. We don't need to add one more. So I see some, some common tools on here already. Uh, castle nut wrench, um, a, uh, can't think of it. Uh, boy, I'm drawing a blank. But um, the castle nut, the front that holds the barrel on and the rear that holds the buffer tube on, you got two common wrenches for that. What are these guys? What are these things? Oh, these come off. Get it, I get it. Hammer, you gotta rub, okay. Cause on the armor, on the benches in the back office there, we each, me and Darren have, so we've got a regular hammer hammer, each of us, and then we've got a double-sided plastic and rubber coated mallet, little hammer. So there are several things you don't wanna hit metal on metal contact. So you've got the rubber and then this 
brass, bronze, probably brass. Probably brass, I think most of them are brass. Again, in metal surface, but no steel to steel contact there. Um, and so this one should be like plastic of some kind. It's just not wanting to come out. All right, well, we know what it, it's coming. It's, it's in there tight. It's in there tight. Come on, you son of a bitch. All right, there we go. And oh, the whole thing is plastic. That's why it was a little harder. Right, you guys get the picture, plastic hammer. Um, it's like you can put a uh, ratchet. Oh, you know what I bet that's for? Got a torque wrench. Bet you put a torque wrench in there. Yep, because here we go. Barrel nut, that's what I was thinking, I couldn't think. Barrel nut, castle nut, muzzle brake. Okay, so when they say muzzle brake, you know, flash hider, muzzle brake, compensator. You wanna talk about the differences? We can talk about the differences. Uh, some states are very clear, like New Jersey, for example, you cannot have a flash hider, but you can have a compensator or a muzzle brake. Um, it, it all, yeah, I'm not gonna get into it, but that, it goes. But, you know, very often here, we don't, we don't torque the, you know, muzzle devices. We, that's a whole different story. Um, I guess this is another hammer. I don't know. Oh. Oh. It's all here again trying to figure it out. It's all right here. It's all right here. But it's uh basically everything we said. Um Yeah. Okay. Cool. There it is. So this goes in conjunction with the the smart torque. And uh, we, of course, have a very fancy torque wrench by Craftsman, American Craftsman, not the new Japanese, Chinese Craftsman. Um, is this how you change the torque on it? Or what is this for? I don't know what this is for. Ah, okay. So this is how you change how many foot-pounds of torque you're putting on there. Inch-pounds? Whatever. Um, what does it come with? Comes with some some bits, some standard bits. Um, I wonder how often I would actually use this. And then you can adjust individually by ones here. Um, I guess the minimum you can go is three. But this has multiple use though. Like this, you might use in more areas. This is very, again, if you're not building ARs, I don't, I mean, you can kind of use the hammer. I don't know. If you're not building ARs, I don't know how useful this particular item would be. Um, and I say this every time. Tech Pack loves its ARs and its AR building ness. So, um, but that's the box. That's the box. I think for for the real Avid, huh? For the Avid AR shooters and builders, once again, I think you're going to enjoy this box. If you're not, and you know, I know there's plenty of people out here in the states as well, and around the world, especially who are just like couple items that are okay but like what's the rest of that for you know like I'm never gonna use that I get it I get it um, so there you go what do you guys think my favorite item of course the poo Winnie the pew um, so that's it I'd love to hear your thoughts opinions and comments on what is in the box this month thanks again to Kevin me and Kevin got to get together because I have a few boxes to give him and some parts to hand off to him. Um, but anyway. Um, so yeah, you guys let me know what you think. I'll get Darren's opinion on this stuff and he can let us know. And uh, remember that you guys are all absolutely awesome. I appreciate every single one of you. And I'll be back again real soon.